Hello, everybody. This is Kill Me Horde. Welcome back to Control. I thought I went down the elevator. Like I said before, I did not. The janitor is a friendly face. I did not do that. But now I am. The maintenance sector is the janitor's domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. I mean, you'll never know. You never know. It could have been Ati. Like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Yes, Ati is. Ati is guiding you to be new janitor. Well, I didn't mean to grab it. The directorial override is right there. In the control room. How do we get there? You are very quiet. I should have. I think I fixed the quietness problem. I just turned up my uh, everything. Cleanse the point. Can I build shatter? Thank fucking god. What was my countermeasures I'm working on? I gotta kill his rangers, gotta kill enemies in an executive, which I don't. And kill enemies in executive. Kill enemies with shatter. I'm gonna abandon that. I'm gonna take the shatter one. You can only have three. My loadout is grip and shatter. F. Okay.
I like Shatter. It only really works when you're up close and personal, though, so... That is the Let's only down downside. Way. That's the janitor's office. Oh god, is this the red light, green light thing? <gasps> Threshold kids! He's singing in the background right now. Hey, man. What are you trying? I'm trying a dog! I'm drawing the pyramid. The what? The pyramid. What's a pyramid? The black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white. And never find your way back home. What is my home? Okay. Oh, shit. place makes me nauseous. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? <laughs> The horse choo choo allows you to evade dash. Oh, I'm glad I have this now. Whoops. Whoops. You and the horse are now bound for life. Okay. Let's see the hiss keep up with me now. Can I leave this weird fucked up dimension? I think I might be able to leave if I keep walking towards the light. Well, okay, I have... Mm -hmm. 
I'm confused. Ah, uh, case five, uh, merry-go-round horse. OP16-KE. Object should be kept in a confined space when unbound. Description or para-utility. Para Fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-round ride. The pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. This can be quite dangerous when standing in its path. <laughs> The object is currently bound by the director. Background. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local eyewitnesses reported that the rides would move on their own and that they would be chased out. These rumors reached the Bureau, see America Overnight, episode 235. Agents were dispatched to investigate. Three local residents were found dead at the scene. The object attacked agent blah, 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 by blah, 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 blah. agents invoked formula C.5 to the object long enough to capture it, I suppose. Uh, I just gotta do that. Wait, didn't I get a thing? Didn't I get a Oh, I got to do it at I got to do it at a control point. That's right. That's right. Whoa. I'm sorry, Ati. I'm doing other things right now. I know Ati's waiting for me in here. There's pictures on <coughs> on the door and everything. <coughs> Fuck. Sorry. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Thanks, Ati. Yippee, Satana. It yep. happened in the last drop. Drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is. I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first... We need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Ah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah. You think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm not going to ask you particularly sure that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, particularly. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix Same the coolant here. pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later. And you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or see it's gonna rattle. But don't I make it hear my thoughts. It's take weird. Take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. Good. You better go now so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. I love Ati. Ati's great. What does he want me to do? 
Yep. Oh, burn the trash. That's not bad. Burn the trash. Throw it into fire. Burn it all. Why can't I leave that way? There's stuff here. That's why I'm uh, backtracking a little bit. Wait, what? How did I get in here? Ignore me. Y'all hurt. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I can't go in there yet. Listen, I, I gotta come in here because I got three ability things. I think I need more health. I think that's what I need. More health. Alright, they have spin unlocked next, okay? Spin is like the full auto... Nonsense, you know. I will need to upgrade grip, though. Okay. Board countermeasures. Get to collect my reward. Health recovery. Shatter projectile boost. Can't use Pierce. I'll do that. I'll set that up. Forty one against damage or damage against enemy bullshit. The reason why I'm going back back is that there was that uh, level 2 lock over here. Right? There's a level 2 lock way over here, and I've got level 2 now. So now I can read this book club. It's a book club note. Ugh. Unless you review by Captain Lopez. 
These days, most young adult novels intertwine the coming-of-age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance, unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories. The people all live in walled cities now because dystopian future. And along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for a young adult. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book 3 out of 5. <laughs> I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. Damn, Agent Lopez. This place is just a little fucked up still. Don't spawn again, don't spawn again, don't spawn again, don't spawn- Okay. I could have sworn they were gonna spawn again and I was gonna have a problem. Go, that's open now. That's open now. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Alright, let's listen to this so we actually know what's happening. North Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moore was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Little confusing. I don't like that. Don't like that too much. They sent the elevator up to me. Hey, a note. Arish escaped OOP. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Your security chief, Simon Arish. Whoops, I bound it. But I'm built different. Oh. It's red out here. It's dangerous out here, lady. Go see Chief Arish. He's just inside. He'll help you. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC security. 
Shouldn't you be in a safe room? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. It's Price. weird how everyone just knows Faden. who the director is ma now. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. Yeah. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. it smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen. I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling it? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. If he's sure not he's infected. Faith in his boss. He hasn't been taken over by the hiss, yeah. Hey Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about Ati, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits. But yes, it's still very much a classified matter. I also saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on next steps. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case if you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. Blockages. All right, let's when listen to what he's got to say. Are working again. We should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? <laughs> what do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's all part of the job. I think there's something living inside of the NSC. What do you know about the service? Not sure. Not much. I think it's director only. Salvador told me about the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. He probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. 
Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? All right, I yeah, I get it. Right. You Secrets, don't want to talk. Oh, control point. Let's fix this. So close, but so far. That's why I go in there for free stuff. So that's where ventilation is, and that's where action I came from. Real no, you aren't. And I've got to go to the coolant pumps and the energy converters. So... We'll go to coolant first. Just feeling like it, you know? Guys explode when they get too close. Discharged. The discharged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from his corruption. His charge display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused hiss resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. This charge is depleted of the hiss corruption after this eruption, the host is left lifeless. This behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The hiss charge are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance. Is the hiss capable of customizing a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the hiss charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. Refer to whatever file for a full report. They yeah, see, I had to be careful with those guys because they will blow up in my face and I will die. Power cut. Replace the parts. Power cut. Replace the parts. That was dangerous. I almost died. Very dangerous. Oh, there's my side mission. I've got to throw away trash. By trash, did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? Like 
advocating some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. Tube complaint? Hey, Boza, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expensive reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some f such fuckery, and that if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for re reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just split our mail out and if they just spit our mail out in some other goddamn dimension? Just venting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless pieces of shit. Rodriguez. Hey, green. I'm just gathering them. Once they're all gathered up over there, I'll throw them all away. Okay. Where's the last one? There's another one somewhere. I don't know where it is. There's legitimately one more. Oh, let's look for it. I bet it's up that. I bet it's up in that. That right there. Trash is burned. Thank you, Ati. That's a fat damage boost. Let's do it. Let's try it. I almost forgot about the radio on the other side of the room. This thing. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the parakinesiology department. I believe I've discovered a code omega paranatural entity residing within the bureau itself right under our noses darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources so so i'm taking matters into my own hands let this recording be the proof i need to convince them the furnace can speak it's been talking to me for some time now listen did you hear that it's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you need? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. It is biological matter. 
organic matter or whatnot. Let's not eat the director, though. More launch damage. I just need more ritual impulse and a lot more source and I can start making stuff again. Come down. All right. I'm all out of time for this episode today, everybody. I shall see you all in the next one. We'll go fuck around with the uh, <laughs> coolant pumps. Bye-bye.